Welcome to another GNU Cash Quick Start tutorial. I'm Laura from the BusyBeePost.com and in today's tutorial is a complete revised and updated Quick Start Beginner's Guide on Managing a Credit or Card Account in GNU Cash 5.0. I will go over how to manage the account including working with credit card and cash transactions in the same accounts, issuing refunds, reconciling the account, and generating reports. If you like my tutorials and find them helpful, please subscribe and don't forget to give a thumbs up. Let's begin. The first step to managing a credit card in GNU Cash is to create the credit card account you want to track under the Liabilities account. Start by highlighting the credit card account by clicking on the credit card account and you can select New on the toolbar or you can right click on the account name and when the menu opens select new account. When the new account dialog box opens enter a name in the name text box and a description and select OK. You can create as many different credit card accounts that you need to to keep track of. Here I have the newly created account. Here I am starting out with a zero balance. Before you can begin tracking your credit card transactions, you need the starting balance amount, which is the amount you owe to the credit card company based on the starting period of time you want to begin tracking the credit card transactions. You'll need to enter an opening balance for each credit card you want to track in GNU Cash. In this example, we're only working with one credit card account. Begin by opening the credit card account you want to work on. In the date field, modify the date as needed. In the description field, you can enter a description. Here is where I will enter opening balance. In the transfer field, select the equity opening balance account. In the charge field, enter the amount you owe the credit card company. Here's where I will enter $125. And select Enter on the toolbar to record the transaction and save to save the changes. Now, looking at the chart of accounts, I can see the newly entered opening balance of $125 the business owes the credit card company. Step 3. How to track credit card transactions. To track your credit card transactions, you need number 1. A credit card account register. Number 2. An expense account or accounts. For example, you could create one expense account such as a credit card expenses account and use this along with the credit card to track purchases. But the only problem is that having only one expense account you use for all your credit card purchases will not give you a clear picture of your purchases. Now on the other hand, creating individual accounts for each type of purchase you make with a credit card will. A question I often get asked is, can you use the same expense accounts you use for both the cash transactions and the credit card transactions. Ultimately, that's up to you. But all I can say is that there is a way to distinguish between the cash transactions in individual expense accounts and the credit card charges, which I will talk more about how to do that later in this tutorial. In this example, the business owner uses his credit card to pay for travel and meal expenses, which he has listed in his chart of accounts. And he adds a credit card fees account to track the additional fees the credit card company charges, such as interest fees on unpaid balances and service charge fees, such as the yearly usage fee, if it applies. With all the expense accounts listed in the chart of accounts, for each type of expense the business only uses for credit card purchases, the initial setup is complete. 
Now that everything is set up, it's time to enter your credit card purchases. It's a good idea to enter your credit card purchases on a regular basis to ensure your records will be accurate when it comes time to verify your credit card statement matches your entries into GNU Cash. Let's begin. On January 26th, the business owner had a travel expense. He used his credit card to purchase some airline tickets totaling $75. If you have more than one credit card account set up, make sure you're entering the information in the correct credit card account register. In the date field, modify the date as needed. Enter description in the description field. In the transfer field, select the expense account that applies to this expense transaction. Here is where I will select the travel expense account. And in the charge field, here is where I will enter $75 for the total cost of the purchase and select Enter and Save on the toolbar. On January 27th, the business owner used his charge card to pay for a meal expense at a local restaurant, totaling $65. In this next step, I will show you how to enter a refund into the credit card account. In this example, the business owner was overcharged on his meal by $10. A common mistake is to enter a credit card refund into GNU Cash as income. It is not income, but rather a negative expense. In this example, we will be entering a partial refund. But it doesn't matter if you're entering a partial refund or a full refund. The method will be the same. It's important that you enter the refund transaction into the same credit card account register that was used for the original purchase. This is only a major concern if you have more than one credit card account set up. Let's begin. Here I have the original transaction of $65 for a meal expense and I want to enter the refunded amount of $10. The balance before the refund is $265 owed to the credit card company. In the first field, modify the date as needed. In the description field, enter a description. Here is where I will enter the fact that this transaction pertains to a refund and the name of the restaurant that issued the refund. In the transfer field, select the same expense account you originally selected when you entered the original transaction. In this example, I entered the original transaction in the meals expense account. Now here comes the most important part, which is to enter the refund in the payment field to reverse the transaction. Here is where I will enter the $10 refund. Then select Enter and Save on the toolbar. The reverse transaction decreases both the expense account balance and the credit card account balance owed. Now instead of $265, the balance owed has decreased to $255 due to the refunded amount of $10. The new balance of $255 confirms the refund has been entered successfully. Next, we'll enter a payment to the credit card company in the credit card register. The only difference in entering a payment into the credit card account is that in the transfer field, instead of selecting an expense, this time you need to select which account the payment to the credit card company is coming from. In most cases, it will be a checking account. Enter the payment amount in the payment field. Here is where I will enter the $50 monthly payment, which reduces the amount owed to the credit card company by $50 and the new balance is $205. Step 7, adding interest fees. You can add any additional fees charged by your credit card company, including interest fees the credit card company charges on unpaid balances either by setting up an expense account for credit card fees 
or you can wait until you reconcile the credit card account to add any additional fees charged by the credit card company. The difference is if you wait to enter the fees when you reconcile the account, the transaction details will only appear as a listing in your credit card account register and your checking account instead of a listing in a separate expense account specifically set up to track the interest fees charged. I will briefly go over how to add interest fees when you reconcile the account. In this next step we will reconcile the credit card account. Once all your transactions have been entered into your GNU Cash credit card account it's time to verify the transactions on your monthly credit card statement are also the same transactions entered into your GNU Cash credit card account. This verification process is known as reconciliation and it is the key to determine whether your records are accurate. You would use the same method you would use to reconcile the checking account. Begin by highlighting the credit card account. Then select Actions on the menu bar and scroll down and select reconcile or you can right click on the credit card account and when the menu opens select reconcile. When the dialog box opens change the statement date to reflect the date you are working on. In this example I was working on the month of January so I will select the ending balance date of January 31st. The starting balance will be zero if this is the first time you're reconciling the credit card account. Now you should see an ending balance. If you need to enter an interest charge, you can enter it here by clicking on the tab. And when the window opens, fill in the information. Now you only need to enter the interest charge here if you don't already have an expense account set up in the chart of accounts to track the interest fees, which I went over in the previous tutorial. If you do, then you can skip this part and back on the dialog box, select OK to continue. On the reconciliation screen that opens on the bottom of the screen, you'll see information about the account you are reconciling, including the date, ending balance, and the difference amount. On the funds and in funds out pane, check off each transaction that coincides with the transactions that appear on your credit card statement. Funds in are your payments to the credit card company, and funds out are your credit card charge purchases. Here I see all the transactions that occurred in the month of January, which is what I'm working on. And on the bottom, I now have a zero difference balance, which confirms all the transactions have been accounted for. When finished, select Reconcile Selection on the toolbar and then Finish. The transfer fund screen opens, offering you an opportunity to enter information about a payment amount you have paid or plan to pay the credit card company. If this is not something you want to enter right now, select Cancel. Be careful not to select OK here because the payment amount displayed will be automatically entered into the appropriate accounts. Once you cancel the transfer dialog box, you should be taken back to the chart of account screen. Now if you look in your credit card account you should see a Y next to the transactions that are reconciled. In this next step we will generate a credit card transaction report. Before we do that here I have the total profit and loss report to date which displays the business expenses incurred so far this year. Now when I click on the link to the travel expenses, I can see that I have a cash payment of $125 made on this expense. And I have a credit card charge transaction for this expense of $75. Now what I need to distinguish between the cash payments entered in this expense account and the credit card payments that can be applied toward the partial or full payment of the credit card charge expense transactions, I can generate a credit card transaction report. To generate a credit card report, begin by selecting reports on the menu bar and then scroll down and select transaction report. 
on the transaction report page select edit report options or you can select options on the toolbar on the transaction report screen select the accounts tab then scroll down to the liabilities category and select the credit account you want to view and select apply Here I have the credit card transaction report. Among other things, the credit card transaction report displays the expense accounts that have credit card purchase transactions in them. In this example, the travel expense and the meals expenses. And you will notice that it does not display any information about the cash transactions entered into these same accounts, only the credit card information. It also displays the money paid to date to the credit card company. In this example, $50 has been withdrawn from the checking account to pay toward the credit card purchase expenses. This is an important factor when you're trying to determine the amount you actually paid toward your business credit card charge purchases on your business expenses during your annual accounting period. Now you know how to manage a credit card account in GNU Cash. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and give this tutorial a thumbs up if you have found it to be helpful. See you in the next video.